truck drivers. What's a creepy story you've got from the middle of nowhere? Not sure if this story is creepy but it's definitely scary. My father was a truck driver in East Africa in the 80s and early 90s. During the years leading up to the Rwandan genocide. My father was passing through Rwanda. He reached a checkpoint and was forcibly removed from his truck at gunpoint. Apparently he looked like he belonged to the Tutsi tribe and they put him in a cage with other Tutsi prisoners. He tried communicating that he isn't Rwandan but no one spoke the same language as him. Every night they would take about 5 people from the cage and slaughter them in front of him. After the third night. He saw a man that spoke a little bit of Swahili. Which my dad spoke. And told him that he's not Rwandan and showed him his ID. Somehow that guy got him out and he was handed the keys to his truck and was on his way. Driving through an abandoned section of Baltimore at 3 in the morning. My CB radio turned itself on and crackled for a bit. Out of nowhere some voice over the radio said in a deep southern drawl. I ain't got no panties on. I could see up and down the interstate for miles and saw not one set of headlights. Driving through rural NM. Bisty area with the crazy melted rock look. No plants or anything. Just rock and sand. Monsoon time. Raining cats and dogs just pouring so hard you could barely see going 20 miles per hour. Thunder and lightning just rocking the car. Sometimes turning into hail and pounding you. Just a nasty storm. Came around a corner. And the whole countryside legit on fire. Like 20 feet tall flames. Hundreds of yards in all directions while pouring rain at dusk. Just rocks and dirt wildly on fire in the pouring rain. Just slowly drove on. Was totally freaky and surreal. Honestly thought I may have hallucinated it. Check the news. A propane truck slid off the road going way too fast and apparently busted open pretty violently and lit on fire. Never saw the truck. Must have been behind something. Felt a bit bad after about not stopping. A good buddy of mine is a long haul trucker for my company. A few months ago. He woke up in a parking lot surrounded by police. Some dude had gotten shot and dumped 15 feet from his truck. Years ago I read an answer on a thread with this question. About a guy who was riding with his truck driver father as a child. They were in the middle of nowhere and they were coming up on a person laying in the road with no one else around. No cars. Etc. His dad blew the horn. They didn't move. He blew it again as he got closer. They didn't move. He told his son to put his hair down and cover his eyes and he ran the person over. When they looked back a bunch of people who were previously hiding were running out of the woods and the gist was that his dad knew it was a setup for a robbery or worse and wasn't chancing it with his child in the car. No clue if it was true or not. But I think about that story all the time. Not a truck driver. But I have one weird story from when I was a kid. My parents always took us on long road trips every summer and my dad liked to take meandering routes through rural towns to see all the tourist traps. One trip. We passed through a little town in Illinois. The kind you miss if you sneeze. This one had mannequins. Every house and business was only populated by mannequins. I don't remember seeing any people. Everything looked maintained and clean. So someone was at least caring for the place. There weren't any signs or anything indicating it was for tourists. Just a convenience store bait shop with a sign reading eat here. Every time someone stops. They go missing. Coincidentally. A new mannequin will always show up around the same time. Driving through a national park in the middle of the night going through a slow stretch at about 30 km per hour. Every so often I think I see something put the my window and beside me. Just a glimpse of movement. When I arc though I don't catch it. Finally on about the third time I whip my head around and this time I recognize it's a huge black wolf following alongside my truck just off the highway. I only saw it for a few seconds before Jay had to focus back on the road but it was absolutely lovely yet unsettling. I was in the middle of absolutely nowhere in Texas and getting so tired and there were absolutely no lights anywhere around me but the stars. I guess I kinda messed up a turn at one of those forks in the road. 
when a calm voice came loud over the CB. Driver. Looks like IT's time for you to pull over and grab some sleep. So I did. I'm not ignoring invisible citizen band geezers. Did it. Wow you all made my cake day amazing that is my biggest upvote post yes. Maybe I am cool. The obligatory not a truck driver but a second hand story I heard. My great uncle drove big trucks. Living in the middle of nowhere sometimes people would leave trash on the road. And since he had a big truck he'd just smash into said boxes or paper and continue on. One day he was coming up on a cardboard box and just had the urge to swerve and miss this one. He misses it and passes by with no incident. Looks in his rear view to look at the box and out pops a kindergarten age little kid. That just heads back to their house as nothing happened. FedEx contractor. I'm in one of those big box trucks. Anyways. I finished a long delivery day. And I swear to whatever fking gods you believe in that I was hearing voices in my cab. It wasn't the radio. It wasn't my tinnitus. It wasn't my subconscious. I was hearing whispered voices in my right ear that were coming from the passenger seat. The voices continued even after I had gotten back to my hub. Clocked out. And hopped in my own car to go home. They only stopped when I left the parking lot. It only happened that night. I still have no fking idea what the hell it was because I had ruled everything else out. Literally reposting my comment from another thread just like this. I work for a railroad. Not necessarily remote but sometimes it's just a conductor and engineer cruising along plus minus 10 mph on very isolated. Fairly wooded track. I've heard a few older guys mention something about a family, or a man with a suitcase. Something along those lines don't really remember, walking down the track with no concerns. Constant blowing of the horn. Flashing of the light CTC just kept walking down the track. Then disappearing. Near Weatherly. PA. I also experienced a pretty intense trip myself one night coming home from New Jersey. Saw my first dead body laying along the rail which in itself was kinda interesting. Then the only other part of my trip where we were required to run at a slow speed. I heard the craziest blood curdling scream I have ever heard in my entire life. One of the nights I will probably remember until I retire. The blood curdling scream could have been a fox. Those things freak me the fck out when I hear them in the woods at night. My uncle was driving between Great Falls and Helena at around 3am. He had his high beams on as it was a lonely drive and quiet highway. In the distance he saw something cross the median and started to slow his approach. Thinking it was a deer. As he got closer. He realized it was standing up and so he slowed down to about 30 miles per hour. He realized what it was and started to panic. A man in blue coveralls with a pig's head. Not a mask. But literally the head of a pig on his shoulder. My uncle moved to the left lane and as he passed. Pig head lunged at the truck. My uncle didn't stop to check if he'd grabbed on till he was in the safety of Helena. Nothing was out of the ordinary there but on that stretch of road now. He doesn't slow down for anything. Did it. Great googly moogly. My first award. Thanks for all the love guys. Not exactly creepy but definitely terrifying. My father was a truck driver and he was driving through a smaller town in Northern California hoarding tomatoes. Suddenly he got incredibly tired. Wasn't low on sleep. Or deprived at all but ended up passing out at the wheel. Last thing he saw was the light of the town in front of him. He woke up about 2 hours later on the other side of town. Perfectly parked on the side of the road. He swears something was looking out for him that night. Reno. Envy. A place on the north side of town. Way off the freeway towards an old military road. I got there early at like 1am. They didn't open till 6am. The facility was closed so no one around and I just pulled into the lot and parked off to the side. So I went to sleep and was woken shortly after to someone knocking on the door window. Firmly to the point the truck shook. I jump out of bed thinking they are there already and want to offload me early. I get to the door and no one is there. So I step down thinking they are behind the trailer looking at the door seal or something. No one around. 
I look under the truck and around absolutely no one. No wind or bad weather. Not another person around. I jump in the truck and pull out of there as fast as I could and went and parked in a nearby truck stop. Still can't explain it. I mean I guess I can justify I could have imagined the sound but the truck shaking was definitely real so I don't know. My uncle was a long haul trucker for almost 30 years. He did a lot of runs through Texas and said that some of the smaller towns gave him a weird vibe. Like he absolutely didn't belong there as an outsider and should just make his delivery and leave a sap. I've been driving almost 30 years. Weirton. WV is a town that gave me a weird vibe. Those people didn't like outsiders. And they didn't keep it a secret. Vibe was so hostile I couldn't even buy anything at a grocery store. Just went back to my truck at the steel mill. Not exactly relevant but still creepy AF. My dad is a trucker and about 20 some years ago. A woman committed suicide by running out in front of him. He said that every night around the time she died. The cab of his truck would drop a few degrees in temperature and he felt a presence. He said this went on for a few weeks and finally he spoke out to her and said he forgave her and wished that she had peace. He said he never experienced the eeriness again. I've got a few. Being stalked by. My gut says a skinwalker outside of Cedar City. But I've told that one elsewhere on Reddit. One of the worst was when I was parked at a dirt turnout in the Arizona desert between Cameron and Page for the night. This is out in Navajo country I believe. About 2am I woke up to scratching at the window of my sleeper. Went on for about 15 minutes. I'm sitting there in the dark scared to death wondering what the fcks happening with my bowie knife in my hand. After it ended I waited another 15 minutes or so before I opened my curtain and looked out the windows. Couldn't see anything outside and I was still the only one parked there. Got out the next morning and all I found were some footprints coming to the truck and eventually walking back into the desert. Haven't parked there since. I always stop at a small truck stop in Cameron now. Not me. But an ex-girlfriend's cousin's uncle, yeah. I know it's a friend of a friend situation. But it was a well-known tale among the family. He was driving on a Mexican road at night. He felt a call of nature. So he parked on the sideway and jumped off the truck. He walked to relieve himself and while doing that he felt a presence beside him. He pointed his flashlight at his side and saw. Standing beside him. A small deformed person. It was naked and had his haste bloated. And he was standing just there. The driver, XGF's cousin's uncle, ran away to his truck. Jumped in. And drove away from there. There's been a lot since I talked with my ex. We're cool but not too much in touch. But if you want to know more I could ask her about the fuzzy details. Making the long drive back to our university one midnight. My friend and I both saw a freakishly huge dog or wolf looking creature on the side of the road. Eyes glowing and everything. It had been quiet in my truck before this. But we both saw it at the same time and yelled out. We don't live in an area with wolves. So I've often thought about it. Our bet has always been some alpha dog or coyote that has grown huge in the woods. Or a bear that we both just mistook for a canine. Very much looked like a canine though. Not me. But my mom told me a story about one late night out trucking. Her husband was sleeping in the back. And she was starting to get super tired. And struggling to stay awake. She heard another trucker on the CV. And started chatting with him. He helped her stay awake for the run until she stopped off at a truck stop until her husband could take over. Semicolon. That next morning. She told her husband what happened. And he told her the CV was broken. And that was impossible. Last week. I was in the middle of nowhere in northern Alabama. Driving at night. Went over a small rise and see something on the side of the road between me and the next little hill. As I get closer. Realize it's kind larger. So I edge myself slightly away from it in my lane in case it's a tree or something. Turns out to be a homeless dude on the side of the road wearing some kind of tan trench coat and a really gaunt look in his eyes. Like. He wanted me to hit him. It was creepy. 
not a truck driver but one night my friends and I were driving through a lightless valley around 1am. Suddenly my headlights catch on an object in the middle of the road and. I sh you not. It's a man made out of tumbleweed. We don't even have tumbleweed where I live. It appeared very suddenly and I was so confused by its shape that I didn't break or swerve. As we collided with it. My friend and I in the front seat both screamed. But nothing. No impact. We drove right through it but it was just. Air. Both of my friends in the back seat were very confused why the two of us in the front screamed suddenly. So like. I know it wasn't just me. My friend saw it too. Truck driving. Many years ago I did that. Long hours. And always tired because the dispatcher always thought you were behind. But there were some good stories. This one guy when he saw another company truck at a rest stop and the driver was sleeping over the steering wheel. He would put on this gorilla mask he had and stand on the running board and knock on the window. Of course the driver invariably almost suffered a heart attack. And a couple even chased him around threatening great bodily harm. I was sitting in my truck one day waiting to load in a line of other trucks. One guy opens his door and stands on the running board like he is pissing off the side. Except he has this huge DLDO in his hand. The next truck coming around the corner the driver stared wide eyed at this guy. Who then proceeded to casually tap the huge penis against the hot exhaust pipe as if he is shaking off a couple of piss drops. The other driver almost hit the building. Guy with the gorilla mask might explain some of the other stories in this post. Not a truck driver but was on the final leg of a 16 hour drive from Florida to northern Ohio with a caravan of about 8 cars and half of us drivers, most of us up for 12 plus hours at this point and everyone else in the cars sound asleep, swear we saw a man walking his dog on the side of I-75 in the middle of nowhere between Cincinnati and Dayton at 3am. To this day still don't know if that was real or we were hallucinating. But either way it was pretty creepy. As an Ohioan. That was probably real. Story handed down from my grandfather. In his youth he was a lumberjack in rural Washington, Oregon. Which according to him was fairly uneventful save one incident. He and three others are taking a car to their residences late one night, technically morning. And he and the and the other guy in the back seat pass out while the passenger seat keeps up a conversation to make sure the driver stays alert. Some time in the night. He and the other guy get woken up to the car screeching to a halt. Both the driver and passenger are staring out the window. Swearing and pale faced. All four get a good. Long look at something really tall standing in the headlights down the road. Black and wide. The driver did the fastest three point turn my grandfather had ever seen and took a different route. They came to the consensus that this was probably a bear that got spooked by the car and tried to scare it off. Whatever it was. My grandpa proceeded to retell the story at every family get together afterwards. So it's pretty burnt into my memory. Well. Nothing paranormal but something out of a strange biology book. I was driving a person in my care from the clinic out of state back home. It started to rain and I was on a very rural road due to a detour and frogs were coming out onto the road in droves. The whole road was jumping and moving. The car started to slide around on the frog carcasses. I had to drive about 20 miles per hour just to stay reliably on the road. I must have killed thousands of frogs that day. Okay. So I was at one point a truck driver. But this didn't happen to me or to someone driving a truck. But it did happen at night on the road. So my friend was in a car with his three friends. Driving out on Long Island somewhere. They had been out at a bar or something until it closed and were heading home. The driver notices they are being followed by another car. Everyone is like. Nah. You're crazy. He pulls off at the next exit. The car follows. He proceeds right back onto the highway, parkway, expressway, whatever. And the other car still follows. Okay. Now everyone is losing their sh tea. It's not a cop car. And it looks like there are four guys in that car. Two. For whatever reason. My friends have one of those 30. 000 candle power flashlights. So they decide to light these guys up. 
They aim out the back window and switch it on. In the car behind them are four dudes with Jason Voorhees hockey masks on. My friends scream. The now blinded hockey mask dudes scream and pull over. My friends got away. When you're trying to play a prank and get permanent eye damage, 